Jake, I just shot a 20 minute video and my mic was on mute, but I'm going to shoot it again for you, for your giveaway, because I appreciate you, what you do for the community. It was really cool to meet you at the National this year, and congratulations on 755, on your way to more. Uh, really appreciate your content, admire you, admire your collection, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. So you asked to see what I collect. Oh boy. Um, I've already been through this once, so most of the stuff is sitting out. That's the benefit of doing it wrong the first time. Um, usually what I did last time was I left the camera running and then I just was grabbing stuff and then I'm going to edit it so it's less than hopefully 20 minutes. And we'll see how it goes from there. So I even have a cheat sheet for myself like so I don't leave something out, even though I suspect I might anyway. Player collections. Okay. Most of you are familiar with these. Uh, Brooks Robinson. I didn't grab my best card of each player, just a card that I thought was fun. Brooks. Ricky. Not a hologram. Harvey Haddix, 55. They love putting green behind Harvey in his early years. His, his rookie card is 54, and this card will have a greenish greenish background. Uh, Pre-war boxer Joe Jeanette. I have a Mariners Hall of Fame collection, which is right here. I just put that display together. So let me know if you want to see what I have going on. I do want to make some tweaks to it. but So when I say Mariners Hall of Fame, I mean in, at T-Mobile Park, there's a little section that they call the Mariners Hall of Fame. And so the players in there don't necessarily match the National Baseball Hall of Fame even though there's obviously some crossover. Uh, Mike Trout, whenever I get a Trout or I'm given a Trout, I keep it. I don't really aggressively add to my Trout collection, but if I pull one, it goes right in there. And whenever I get a Jackie, I keep it. And I try to look for cheapos because in February, when we do um, National Black History Month at school and we learn about Jackie, I like to have 20 cards to give out, give one to each kid, and they take it home. I think that's cool. And it's a connection between me and their learning, and they have something to remember that by. So it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, I also collect Hall of Fame autographs. I've shown off many before. There's some back here, and then in the big box. Certified, non-certified, ITTM. Uh, about to send out to... Wade Boggs again, because I want to be one of the first to get this 22 stadium club with the chickens done. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, I have a knuckleball collection I've showed many times. Uh, there's a display here. It's sort of um, torn apart because I wanted to, I needed the book for something, but I have that. Um, Seattle sports, just whatever. Um, I thought I had some stuff lying around here, but cool cards of just any team sets I'm working on um, first what I have here is T218 boxing and I've shown off these quite a few times I've shown my Jack Johnson off a lot because it's a cool card I do want to get the front view also um, obviously if I'm getting all of them but I don't know I got a half dozen or so here and um, sort of wouldn't mind getting each back for those so that's kind of a double checklist. Not interested in the other sports for the T218. So there's obviously boxing, which is one of the bigger checklists. But there's like rowing, billiards, pool. There's even a walking card, believe it or not. But just doing the boxing for those. Uh, I also collect vintage Hall of Fame cards, both graded and non. Uh, this is from my non-binder sort of how I keep them and then obviously slabs go either in the display or in a box uh, I forgot to mention my Kraken binder when I was talking about Seattle team sports but um, not really as up-to-date as I would want it to be but I, the goal was to get at least one pay one card for each person on the all-time roster I'm already behind I'm having to reevaluate how I'm gonna do this 
just not totally sure. Back to our set discussion. This is my 64 tops. It's about 88% complete. And it's actually a hybrid sign and non-sign set. And a lot of what I have to add is um, obviously Hall of Fame types, high numbers, which I'm working on. Um, I was actually very active in this set this last year. But just to give you some idea of what I'm looking at, it's, I think I said 88%. I checked right before I hit record, and then I forgot. 88% uh, complete, but about 50% signed. So I'm really happy with that. It's been my baby for about 10 years. My other baby set-wise, vintage set-wise, is 73. So I still need, obviously, the, the Ruth Aaron uh, Mays all-time home run card. I'll get that. That's a goal this year. But this is also hybrid, signed and unsigned, as you'll see. That might bother people, some people. Not me. Cool Steve Garvey. Check it out. Um, yeah, and this one, I want to say it's closer to 83% done. Again, I'm missing a lot of Hall of Famers, but do have Rod Peru. Check it out. Yeah, there's some fun, fun cards on this page. Boog Pal. On and on and on. For non-vintage sets, I tend to stick to smaller things because I'm not a super modern collector. But I do like these. In Topps Chrome every year, they do the throwback insert set. And so there's 83, which needs a lot of help. It has the Otani in it, which I waited to get. And now it's, last I checked, like 80 bucks. I'm going to keep waiting. Uh, the 84 is complete. Uh, there's some 85, 86, about half done. And then I don't have any of the 87s yet, which is this current one, because I haven't really been super active on that. This is a complete set here. I have an Eddie collection in here. I guess it shouldn't be in a set binder. But some Eddie cards, E-D-D-Y, same spelling. Thought about branching out to the IEs or just Eds or Edwards. But now you're looking at a checklist of probably tens of thousands of cards instead of a dozen. So I'm deciding. I also have a Master Provisions set, all sports in here. And so I'm getting pretty close to finishing that. Um, the 93 baseball is really tough. I think I only have one. There's 91. 92 is complete, just six cards. Yeah. Only have one of the 93s. There's Roberto Alomar as an angel. As a literal angel. Uh, he wasn't... Well, I'll save my joke. If you know Roberto Alomar, you know an incident in which he was not an angel. But i also also doing other sports. Basketball. Football. There was never a hockey provision set. So do with that information what you will. Okay, so that takes care of most of our non autograph stuff except for those two vintage sets being hybrids the rest of what I'm going to show you is autographs I think unless I remember something else okay this first binder is called stadium club project and that is basically as many stadium club cards as I can get so I have my 91 separate because that's with my set but these are all different years, all signed. Most TTM, there's a few certified cards in here. But just to give you some idea of what I'm looking at. And the older the set, the more I tend to have. And I don't know if that's because players are more likely to sign as they age or how that works. But there's a bunch of 92 in here and a little bit less 93 and on and on and on. I don't have anything yet for this year until I get that box done. I don't think I have a, a 2021. Oh, yeah, it looks like I have one. It's a certified. Marco Gonzalez. Yeah, that was given to me by somebody. Thank you very much. Uh, what do we got? What else do we got? Oh, yeah, here's uh, some more vintage. So these are all 76 tops. And I counted these up before. There was about 150. And the reason I didn't go over these earlier, because it's not a true set, I'm not building a 76 
set around it, although that might happen at some point. Hey, I see Charlie Huff on there. Didn't realize I had a Charlie Huff autograph. 76, what else? Uh, 92 Ultra. Again, just another set where I love the photography. I counted those before. There was 150. 92 Ultra. And then in here I also have 92 Pinnacle. Let's see if we can find a cool card here. Ah, oh, how about Juan Gonzalez? And there was about 140 of these. A little bit less on the Pinnacle. Okay. Mostly this is just an excuse to keep TTMing. Um, because I sort of ran out of fuel for my all-time Mariners. Which is what's in this binder. Courtesy of Scott Reindeer Studios. And I don't know what the count is on this. And I don't keep every Mariner autograph in here. I have certifieds. Uh, you know, like I have an Ichiro up here and an RJ. And slab stuff, obviously. But these are all um, non-certified. And then I keep my certified somewhere else. Why I store different collections different ways, I don't know. But there's some custom cards in here. Players that didn't have Mariners cards. Like here's one right here, for example. Steve Gudzkowski. Had to get him. Um, how about this, Scott, since this is your binder, Franklin Gutierrez, is that the right uniform for Franklin Gutierrez, Death the Flying Things? I'm sure you'll disagree, but uh, Logan Gilbert, that's a good card right now, he had a great year. Um, oh, here's a photo I'll show you real quick, it's a custom card, Flow Bros, Taylor Motter, Ben Gamble, when they were both on the team, they had the flow bro nicknames because they had the long flowing blonde hair what's next we're getting there okay more vintage again sort of like the 76 I just I love the designs of these cards so why not get as many as I can 86 tops and I went through before and figured Hey, Charlie Huff. There's two of them. Well, I have at least three Charlie Huff autographs. Um, I think I figured there was about 180 of the 86 here. And then I also have 81s in here. Look at, I love this uh, Jose Cardinal card right here. That's awesome. I don't know why he looks so depressed, but... Um, I think on the 81s, I was closer to uh, 160 or so. Let's grab another page here for you. Hey, Charlie Huff! Didn't realize I had four autographs of his. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Clint Hurdle, Al Roboski, Art Howe. That's a cool page. Okay, the last autograph binder is just called autograph projects uh, i don't know why it's called that because there's another like set in here and this is the 91 sorry 92 um, action packed asg by the way asg stands for all-star gallery and there's one player in this set that was never an all-star can you name him and unless you know the set there's no way you're going to do it so I'm having fun with you. It was Joe Garagiola. It was in this set, but never an all-star. I also have uh, Larry Doby, which I showed yesterday. I have, uh, um, oh, Yogi Berra, which I showed yesterday. Bill Mazurowski, Warren Spawn. And uh, then I have one other Hall of Famer that's still out. So that's those. And then I have back here a very small... Birthday buddy. Birthday buddy. January 24th. It's coming up. Address below. Birthday buddies. No, I'm already spoiled. Um, there's two Ted Cox and an Innie Rodriguez on the next page. And I think this gap here, I think I had a Whit Merrifield in there and took it out for something. Never put it back. But no, I am unbelievably spoiled in this community. Don't 
if I say send me something, I promise you I'm joking. Um, Jake, I'm sure I forgot like 10 things. I'll know the second I hit stop. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't believe I didn't mention whatever X, Y, Z. The point is I keep plenty busy here. i constantly having to make choices on what to ignore, what to build. It all comes down to like what's going to put a smile on my face today. And that's the direction I go. Um, I have pared some things down. There's things I didn't show. Sets I either completed or just completely are ignoring. That's the collecting life, I guess. Thanks again for doing this. And, um, yeah, good luck on 755 more. And see the national, right? Until then, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.